Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you the new world request they added in the 4.4, the main world request of the new area. Um, ciao Inna. In order to accept this world request you just have to enter in the area. So you can just teleport to for example this teleport waypoint which, which will be unlocked automatically after this patch gets released. Or just enter from uh, any direction, just enter inside this area. Uh, I will just teleport to here, so let's go. Once you enter in the area you will be automatically teleported in this place and start the dialogue. Okay, here we go. You will start the dialogue with this NPC, which is, um, we can say, Adepto. Fujinna. The local Adeptus, if, in fact. Just read the dialogue if you're interested in the lore. It's really, yeah, it's really good. Okay, perfect. After the dialogue, you will see that the world request is called uh, the main world request chain. Chao is blessing of the Sunken Jade, and the side quest this is the Act 1 basically, Chao Yin's of the Sacred Mountain. And here it will show you this tutorial, so please read it, since this is the main way you travel in this area, which will be super super easy to travel. Basically you will see these um, glowing points on the map, with a fish icon, just press T, you can teleport to it, and then you will be able to just uh, yeah, fly around. Now you will be teleported outside, right in front of the State of the Seven. So, let's go there, and unlock it. Since this is not a chest guide, or collection guide, I will just use Yellen's skill to make it faster. Once you unlock this uh, State of the Seven, perfect, you will unlock this first uh, place. Yeah, it's a Geo State of the Seven, because this is a part of the Livia. Let's keep follow this road, and go inside the village in front of us. Ciao in village. Okay, here we go. Once you reach here, you will start the dialogue with this um, older person. And the quest will finally start officially. So keep follow the road since we have to go and unlock the teleport waypoint in front of us. Just a follow. Okay, here it is. Teleport waypoint, and now go to the quest area, which is above here. Uh, no, from this side. Yeah, in the corner here. Okay, after the dialogue here, you will receive a receipt, and just to keep follow. Uh, the quest, which will uh, ask you to go uh, to leave the Chowing village. Also, here the glowing points are the new receipt, uh, new material, cooking material. Okay, let's just uh, follow here. You will see a golden fish, golden crab, carp. Just follow, follow her. Yeah, this is the golden point uh, the tutorial te teach you. So just press T, and as you can see, you can just aim wherever you want and shoot yourself. After some time, you will just uh, uh, glide. Really, really useful for traveling. Now you, you will reach this part, and just defeat these enemies. For this puzzle here, you basically have to aim toward the giant flower, press T to collect it. And then you have to light up all these rocks, you can see. Uh, you just have to touch them with the light one time and they will permanently glow. So just zoom a bit around and as you can see you will make them glow and the Fujin will appear. Starting the dialogue. At the end you will see a monster watching us. Or the quest is not completed yet because now you have to go at this place here. Another, we can say harbor. Also on the left side you will see that there's a chest spawning, but uh, I will don't take it to keep it for the chest guide. While for you, if you want you can take it. But uh, if you want to follow together with me my same counting achievements, you can um, yeah, you can keep it. So let's fly up to activate this uh, teleport waypoint. And let's go keep go toward the harbor. Just to follow this um, 
this road for the west direction. Here above also another triple waypoint, so let's use the glowing star. Okay, here we go. Almost there, I guess. Okay, when you reach this place with the bridge, um, I recommend you to go from upstairs. So this way you can unlock the next teleport waypoint as well. Let's go. Okay, just like this. Going from upstairs, as you can see above that tree, uh, you will find the glowing point. Just watch it toward it. And uh, press T. So one, press that one. And in the end you can fly here. Teleport waypoint. Unlock it, uh, and then just to fly toward uh, our next uh, next uh, position. The map connection, uh, good is really good. Uh, still, there's a hole in the map, uh, as you can see here. This should be the map below, right below the Celestia Island. Based on the description of uh, Fast Events. Okay, here we go. Next teleport waypoint, unlock it. And now we can talk to this NPC here. Just to get close, it will automatically start the dialogue. Act 1 completed of the World Crest. And the second part will start, which is Floating Jade Treasure of Chang'e. Mm, I will keep I will divide the yeah, the entire quest chain into three videos, actually four because um, there are four acts. The last one is just a small act, so mainly three acts. So hope this video helped you. Mm, thanks for watching, and see you in the next act. Bye!